Hello everyone. So today, let us learn something about uh, script now. And by the way, I know I'm making a video after a long time. It has been, I believe, almost uh, two months, a bit more than two months. But I wanted to take a break. But don't worry, I'm back. So let us uh, do what we love doing. And that is uh, working on a uh, script runner. And uh, as I promised recently that I will be making a lot of videos on uh, script runner because it has been a while. And a lot of people watch my videos. They come to my channel to learn about uh, script runner. And uh, good thing is that script runner, the features of the tool, although there are a lot of things that are still valid, like all old, old scripts and the features, but there are, you know, things that we need to also, uh, take a look at like some of the new features. But in this video, I want to do something very simple and hopefully it will help you. And uh, we'll of course you know, do a bit more uh, complicated things using a script you know? and I'm going to focus on behaviors and I want to make a few videos on only behaviors because I don't really think I've covered behaviors a lot. So let us say you want to disable inline editing of a field. Now the thing is that in Jira, by default, inline editing is there and uh, this particular inline editing is something that you uh, will enjoy because it is great. For example, if I want to change the label, I can actually do this by uh, you know, modifying uh, this by, by simply clicking on the field and then I can simply add a new label. So I can add a new label, let us say design, right? And I can then type uh, UAT, whatever. So basically I can do this modification and this is great. But the thing is that apart from just, uh, I mean, in, in, in those cases where you don't really want uh, inline editing because uh, maybe you want to have uh, some validations on this field, but I will also tell you one more use case. Let us say that as part of your process, you need to ensure that uh, uh, two fields are updated together. Maybe you want to ensure that, uh, you know, there is some field where you want people to update something. And uh, uh, if you have inline editing, then of course you can't do that because when you do inline, inline edit editing, it will just uh, edit or modify a single field. But if you have, uh, let us say a screen that pops up, you can actually, uh, you know, then add some validations on the fields that you want to check for sure, multiple fields. So in this video, what we'll do, we'll add a behavior. And this behavior is uh, basically without any script. All you need to do, if you go to script, uh, and uh, if you then um, add a behavior on the field. So basically, the moment you add a behavior, and right now I don't really have any behavior. So let me add a behavior like uh, disable label inline editing. Let me just uh, select the uh, or basically just, just add the add the mapping so I can uh, add a mapping for demo project. And it is all, always you know, great to you know have this mapping. So you are only doing it for that particular project or maybe for a specific issue type as well. So let me just add this mapping and click on the create. Now you can of course do a lot of wonderful things. But if 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 you just want to disable inline editing, or if you want to basically ensure that uh, this field along with some other field, uh, they are they are uh, not really, or, or users are not really able to edit those fields directly. You can simply select those fields here. For example, in this case, I want uh, labels. And uh, what else? Let us also also do this for uh, maybe description, right? So I'll just write or not not write. Select descri description from the list, add, and that is it. Click on the save button, go back, refresh. And what will happen now if you click on this uh, edit, this pencil icon, it will basically take you back to the edit issue screen where you have this field. And uh, of course, here you can modify this label and also modify this uh, description. Maybe you want description and label to be modified together. I mean, of course, I'm not really doing that check here. But basically, you can expect these two fields to get updated together. For example, new description. And I'll show you how it looks like. So if you go to the uh, history. So if you look here in the history, you can see the two fields that you have updated. And uh, this is something that you 
can expect because uh, there is a pop-up screen like the edit screen which is useful now if you click on the edit again let us try so if you click on the edit you can't really do inline editing you will be taken back to the same edit issue screen so you can add here uh, another uh, description of course i can leave the labels but just for simplicity i'm just you know trying to share one use case let us say there is a new label called as uh, what else uat right and if you click on update and if you go back to the uh, history you can see these two fields together so this is something that i thought i'll probably share but uh, to disable inline editing or to ensure that uh, you want if you want people to update two or multiple fields together you can then first add a, like like a behavior and then of course maybe you can add uh, some uh, scripts on top of it but in this video i just wanted to share this very simple thing and uh, i hope I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.